Hey there everybody, welcome back into the Bears Den Gardens. It's not quite Sunday because it's not exactly a look around at what's going on. I'm basically just kind of trying to keep everybody informed as to what I'm doing to try and keep these peppers of mine alive. After the garlic spray, well it didn't really didn't do as much as I was hoping. I hit everything with a good load of sunlight in the, the spray canister there. That hasn't cleaned off everything. I've still got aphids. So the next plan of attack is to try and kind of boost the plants a little bit. Upstairs uh, with that giant sand dollar, it was really one of the only survivors from the 2016 season that I brought in. And the thing that kind of made it different from everything else was that I put a boatload of banana peels down into the soil. And in point of fact, they're, they're still there. So... Uh, today, that's one of the things I'm going to do. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray everything with some hydrogen peroxide water because apparently that's supposed to be really, really helpful. Soak the, the soil and it helps the roots, soak the plant, and you know, it's supposed to help with that too. So, a hyperdose of oxygen and a hyperdose of, what is it, potassium that's in bananas? Yeah, let's see if this helps. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Time to get started. I'm not really sure what the mix ratio is supposed to be like here, so I'm just going to dump this whole bottle in. I believe this sprayer holds like two gallons, so it shouldn't be like pure. If we look at the side here, we can sort of see, filled it up to there, so it's going to be like a one to nine parts, one to eight parts. Hopefully still enough to help. I really want these plants to make it, you know. Then I'm going to just fill that up with the cold water. Conveniently enough, the washer dryer used to be down here, so I've got water at my fingertips. Like I say, very convenient, very convenient. Just about done. Just pump this up a few times. And I'm just going to blast everything on the plants. I'm going to blast the soil as much as I can. Seriously trying to get everything. Although one thing I don't think I did mention previously is I've got some some cat mint. It was the only mint I could find growing. It's hanging off a few of these things because apparently they don't like mint either. So yeah, the spray carries on. Be easier with both hands free though. So we'll get back at the banana stage of things. Alright, now that all the plants are thoroughly soaked, I'm just going to take my collection of very old banana peels here. I had some bananas I was saving for baking. And uh, I'm just going to lay them all around. Like you can see that one there in the bottom of the reaper. And that one in the reaper over there. And this one in the Tabasco here. Basically I'm just going to divide up these banana peels amongst all of these peppers. And hope that that's what made the difference for the sand dollar. Because that's a beautiful looking plant. And I'd like these to follow suit. Oh yes, I've also been capturing Japanese or Asian, whatever they are, lady beetles, not the traditional proper North American ones. But I don't care, as long as they're eating aphids, they're welcome in my garden. Yes. So, time to rip up some slimy banana peels. Well, they're all loaded up with little bits and pieces of banana peel now thoroughly soaked with the hydrogen peroxide and they've all gotten several soap baths let's hope this does something positive for these plants and negative for the aphid infestation yeah like I said I'm just trying to show you really quickly what I'm doing in my war on these aphids for 2017 if I ever find anything that actually works 100%, I'll probably drop of a heart attack on the spot. But if I don't, I'll be sure to share that too. Alright everybody, uh, tune in on Sunday, I guess, when we'll be taking a look at, well, pretty much everything that's still growing on here. And, by request, I believe it was Kaleidoscope Junkie asked me to go over the nutrients that I'm using in the hydroponic garden, how I'm mixing those up, all that kind of stuff, so... Yeah, I will do my best to get that in there too. Alright everybody, I will see you on Sunday for the Bears Den Update. Bye.